I'm incensed right now. I'm incensed. Not just because the Jets lost. That was an absolute ridiculous call. That was not passing or, I mean, not holding on Sauce Gardner. That was ridiculous. That was ridiculous. That was, that was not freaking holding on Sauce Gardner. I'm sick and tired of the refs screwing the Jets. This happens every single season. I'm so tired of it. Every year. This was ridiculous. That's scripted. I don't blame Robert Sala for being pissed off about it. That was ridiculous. I don't blame Sala for his anger. I don't blame him. That was ridiculous. Gosh. I'm so angry. I'm not mad at Zach Wilson. I will tell you one thing. Zach Wilson played his freaking heart out. I'm telling you, I saw so much improvement in Zach Wilson in this game. You smile all you want, Patrick Mahomes. You got bailed out by the refs again, like you did in Super Bowl 57. Freaking pathetic. Absolute horse crap. Bailed out again by the freaking refs. Yeah, GG to the Chiefs fans. Yeah, y'all won by the help of the refs. Yeah, GG. Yeah, yeah. You guys had a good first half. Then we locked y'all down second half. And then the refs bailed you out because they love you. Because they love you too much not to call freaking penalties to make you lose games. That was ridiculous. I am incensed with that penalty call on Sauce Gardner. Robert Sell, I've never seen him get that angry at a ref. I've never seen him get that angry, period. That was ridiculous. That was ridiculous. So the final score for MetLife Stadium on Sunday Night Football, the Chiefs beat the Jets 23-20. to 20. I'm telling you one thing. That went a lot. That did not go as I expected. I thought the Chiefs were going to blow us out. But no, the Jets shocked me. Zach Wilson shocked me. I thought Zach Wilson, I thought this was it, but... Hey, he went out there, and let me tell you one thing. I saw a different Zach Wilson. I'll tell you. i tell you. When he, when, there were, there were times where he was slinging the ball. He was slinging it, all right? He was slinging the ball. Like, like, he, like, he, the ball, the ball, like, he, it only took him, like, two and a half seconds to throw the ball. Usually, it takes him over that time. Did tonight, he was slinging it. He was finding Lazard, Garrett Wilson, Randall Cobb, CJ Uzama, Jeremy Rucker, Ty Conklin, you name it. He was finding all the receivers. And I'm not mad at him for the, for the loss. I'm not mad at him. He doesn't deserve any blame for this loss. I don't blame anybody but the refs. And you could, you could say in the comments, cry about it. If you watch the game, you know what I'm talking about. He didn't throw... He didn't throw one interception tonight. A one interception. Yes, there was a fumble that wasn't recovered. But... But it wasn't... But it wasn't... But that was not... But that was not what happened. They, they, he, fumbled, he fumbled it, and that, that's what really impacted the Jets. That was, that, was the, that was the bad. That was the one right there. Yeah, 51 rushing yards. Bailed out by your freaking refs, Patrick Mahomes. Just remember that. You were bailed out by the refs. I'm so angry. But honestly, yes. Yeah, shut up. Shut up. I'm putting you on mute. I'm not going to listen to him. Um, Kermit the Frog. Yeah, Patrick Mahomes, Kermit the Frog voice. Um, listen, I'm, I'm proud of the way the Jets played on both sides of the football. We picked off Patrick Mahomes twice. Uh, uh, Ashton Davis picked him off and freaking, um, what's his, uh, CJ Mosley picked him off. And 
you know, the defense, they were they were getting on top of Mahomes. They 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 got all over him because the defense wasn't getting worn <coughs> wasn't getting worn out tonight because the offense was actually doing stuff and the defense wasn't on the field as much as they were against New England. So that's the good thing about tonight's game. Zach got off to a bad start. I understand that. But he got going. When I when I when 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 it was like his final chance, when it was his final chance to to prove himself, um he went out there and proved himself. And I'm I'm proud of the way he played tonight, but just things can't ever go the Jets way. Mm -mm. Things can't ever go the Jets way. But uh, real talk, GG to the Chiefs fans. Uh, Christopher McDavid, that's like the only Chiefs fan I really know on YouTube. But uh, really, okay. Um, but um, overall, uh, what a game that was. I, 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 I thought it was going to go horribly. I thought it was going to be over early. But that was a good game for Sunday Night Football. Holy crap. The Jets should not, the Jets, the Jets, they're angry at, I mean, I'm angry at the refs, but the Jets, they should be proud of themselves for how they played tonight. They really should. But yes, the Chiefs beat the Jets 23 to 20, and the Jets dropped to one and three on the season. Now we play Denver next week on the road. So yeah, I got three Broncos fans that I know, Preacher Man, <coughs> Colby, and Mile High Six. Yeah, I know those three. Oh, and uh, Joseph Crawley as well. He's a Broncos fan. Um, but um, yeah. I'm pissed, but um, I'm I'm not pissed, but I'm but again, um, uh, it's a game it's a game to keep your head up on uh, as a Jets fan. But uh, next week against Denver, I expect to see the same thing um, from Zach Wilson. Um, I I expect him to go out there and um, and um, and ball out. So. I, I'm 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 really liking what I'm seeing from Zach Wilson. Just keep it up, man. Have confidence in yourself and sling that ball. All right. Look at look at angry Robert Sal, and I'm I'm feeling the same way as Robert Sal right now. So yeah, um, yeah, the Jets dropped to one and three. Um, man, it would been it would have been nice to beat the Chiefs, man. That would have been nice. But yeah, I'll see you guys later, and go Jets.